Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jonathan and Lindsay today. Lord, we thank you that the love that they have is just certainly an example, just a model of the love that you have for us as your children. Thank you for bringing them together in their lives. Thank you for their families. Both families are precious. We thank you for both of them. And we ask you now, as from this day forward, they live their lives blended together, that you will bless them. Lord, again, we ask in the good times and the bad times, you will be their strength, their guide, and that their life will please you. Not only will it please you, Lord, but it will also exemplify your love to others and that they will be a model for other people to understand how, first of all, God loves us and we love God, and then, God, how we love each other. I thank you for that. I ask you to bless them in everything that they do. Bless their home, bless their future together, bless their lives, everything that they do in this life. May they walk under the covering of your awesome blessings and we'll thank you for it today. In Jesus' name, amen. Lindsay, I love you immeasurably, and your love for me brings me more joy than you can imagine. I must say that my emotions are over the top today. You see, Tammy and I chose not to find out the gender of our children until they were born. And the second I saw our new baby girl, my emotions overflowed. I had a desire to love her, to protect her, to provide for her, and prepare to become a capable and accomplished woman, secure in herself and her faith, and that one day, if she decided to marry, she would set her goals high and find an awesome man that would cherish her and put her above everyone else in his life, including himself. My daughter has become that woman, and today she married that awesome man, Jonathan. My prayer and hope for them as they journey through this life together is that they cherish each other as though God himself presented each of them as his gift to the other. A gift to be treasured, nurtured, and protected beyond measure forever. Today, Jonathan, you're about to take upon yourself a pure resolve and a solemn vow, incurring grave and lasting responsibilities. The woman of your choice will become the partner of your life, the co-heir of your possessions, the queen of your home. Lindsay, from this day forward, your life will also take many new directions. You are also about to assume grave and important responsibilities. Do you, Jonathan, take Lindsay to be your wedded wife? I do. Your smile should be his brightest day. Your voice his sweetest music. Your industry his greatest wealth and your economy is safest steward. Your lips should be his most faithful counselor, and your prayers should be his most able advocate at heaven's court. Do you, Lindsay, take Jonathan to be your wedded husband? I do. Jonathan and Lindsay have consented together today in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company of witnesses by exchanging vows and exchanging rings. 
by the power that is vested in me by the, as a minister of the gospel, it is my happy privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You make this your <laughs> Lord, we take a moment to pause and we say thank you for this beautiful celebration that we have the privilege to be a part of for bringing Jonathan and Lindsay together in marriage. But we pray they would experience your steadfast love, your favor, and your guidance as they go forward in this journey together. And Lord, we thank you for this moment that we have together as family and as friends May our conversations and our fellowship be filled with your joy and your love. And God, may we honor you in all that we do and say. In your name we pray. Amen.